Okie dokie. Welcome back. So. It is time for us to see what's so crazy about that snake. The reportedly giant snake. And clearly not just five snakes inside of a big snake suit. A little bit of an aside. Rebecca... I don't mind Rebecca, honestly, as a character. I think she's fine. But when they made a prequel game, Resident Evil Zero, starring her, I kind of have issues with prequels because sometimes they will establish things that are kind of counter to what's already been established, if you know what I mean. And so that whole situation of Rebecca kind of... It's like, you know how to use a gun? It's like, uh, yeah. It's like, Rebecca, you were using a grenade launcher, a rocket launcher, a magnum, all this other stuff. Like, <laughs> girl knows her guns. She knows guns about as well as drugs. Oh, there's a zombie. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, also just some stuff that RE0 does. And then the fact that she was separated from the rest of the team. And then suddenly she's here with Richard. Or I guess judging by how she talked in that scene, she was just, she just showed up. And of course, there's... It's the room that Richard came from, but it requires a key that's locked behind another puzzle. Anyways, so yeah, it's just a little silly the way Resident Evil Zero kind of has certain things going on, and it's like, but in... is this consistent? Oh, sh oh I'm out of daggers. Oh, no, get off me. No, oh, get off me, get off me. Oh, I didn't button mash enough. Yellow caution. Oh, there's a flash grenade. Great. Just combine those and let's go in the room. So yeah. Just one of the things I don't like about prequel games and stuff is that a lot of times they end up kind of ignoring the canon in ways. An unlit candlestick. Well, and that's kind of an that's kind of one thing. It's just like Rebecca not really understanding a lot of what's going on, even though she's already gone through it in a previous game. Oh, oh, oh. Oop. Nope. There we go. Now he did. Okay. Shotgun shells, yeah. And of course, turn on the light, and we can find a musical score. And that's it. That's it for this room. So if we examine it, the beginning and the last sections of the music are missing. So someone ripped the pages out and then put it on the other side of the mansion. Now then. All right, I put away the uh, kerosene. That's fine.
Nope. Haha. <laughs> Get owned. Alrighty. So now that we have the musical score, it's time to take it to the musical room with the piano. Which means going back downstairs. It's also why I kind of wanted to take care of that zombie body. Before turning to a crimson head. Now I can go down this hall without worry. Alrighty, now I can actually. Oi! Who pushed the who pushed the bookcase back? Alright guys, it's a shelf, not a bookcase. Moonlight Sonate. It's titled Moonlight Sonata. No, it's Moonlight Sonate. And of course, it is missing a section. So we just combine it, and now it's complete. Now that it's complete, well, let me go ahead and grab these ink ribbons. Ye. Yeah. use it at the piano. Oh wait, Chris can't play piano. Oh! It's me, Chris. Oh god, I Rebecca. thought you were a zombie. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. No, it didn't. Can you play? Here we go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh. 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 Oh, what was that? <laughs> My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Yeah, sure. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. So, uh, yeah, just leave her to it. Just let her do that for a little while. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna check out the basement. The basement that I completely ignored up until this point. Gee, you can already see one, uh, problem. A bunch of spices you've never seen before. And an old key. More handgun ammo. Awesome. Dishes are crawling with maggots. Funny thing is, if you look closely, this is actually a fry, uh... This is one of those fry cooking things. Uh, what is it? It's like the little grease, the grease cooker things you see at like fast food restaurants. You can tell because it's got like the little handles for the uh, baskets that you stick in. You put in like fries, chicken, whatever. Oh, there's a dead body. That dead body is a. Uh, that dead body is a uh, distraction from this guy. Of course, he's not up and about yet, but he will be. Did I? 
Okay, I'm just seeing things. Oh no! Pre-rendered scene! Something slowly approaching the door! Oh no! No! Nice! Oh, and this guy's just on the floor. Dang! Nope, 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 nope. Dang, dude! Wow! He took a lot of freaking bullets. Anyways, that's it. And that's everything in this room. Can't go through this door, because it's locked from the other side, of course. Alrighty. How many slots do I have? I have one. Oh. I don't think I've given her enough time to get better at the song, so. Let's get to the safe room. Oh, I could. No, I had already grabbed it. Never mind. I was just thinking to myself, I should, I should grab that last herb, and I was like, oh wait, no, there was no last herb, because I combined two of them. Ah. Okie dokie, so I'm going to swap this out. Put the old key away. Pretty sure that's just gonna be for the gate thing. I'll bring first aid. And of course, there's Richard. Hey, bud. Well, good thing you're doing okay. Anyways, <laughs> such a weird little cutscene to have there, but oh well. Yeah, I imagine there aren't actually too many zombies left that I haven't killed. Or overkilled, shall we say. Probably won't have to deal with crimson heads for the rest of this section. Hopefully. Oh wait. There's something I need to grab before I go. Because there's a key item here. This thing is important now. Okay. Chris! Chris! I think I got it! <laughs> you know, it'd be more comfortable if you brought a chair over. I mean, usually there's a bench for these, so I don't know why there's no bench for the piano. Perfect. 
Oh. What's this? And that opened a door. For some reason. Resident Evil. Anyways. Oh, there's a thingy. Trevor's diary. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How'd I end up like this? The guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they're alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait. Even as I'm writing, my memory's coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family's already. I pray for their safety. Somehow, I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes. Gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. And anyways. So here we have Gold Emblem. And that closes the door. Sorry if that voice didn't really work out. I haven't done any like voice acting kind of stuff in a very long time. I don't know why I felt like doing it. <laughs> Were you all right in there? Yeah. <laughs> so here's another thing. Um, Resident Evil Zero has a similar puzzle. But in order to reopen the door, you have to play the piano again. So Rebecca would know about this. So... <laughs> uh, whatever. Anyways, moving on. Okay. So now we're going to go back into the dining room and uh, do another puzzle. Puzzles upon puzzles upon puzzles upon puzzles. That's uh that's a Spencer mansion for you. All right, put the gold emblem here. And that opens the clock. And of course, before doing that, I gotta look at this painting. <laughs> so one guy, the short sword is stabbed into the chest, while the long sword is just <laughs> straight through the eye socket by the looks of it. It's pretty insane. Which, of course, is this. Which, it's already in the right position. What? Oh, wait. Yeah, it's already in the right position. Why is it... Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's because the big hand is too long. I thought it was the small hand pointing down already at the... yeah. Okay, we're gonna put that back. Move the large gear. Okay, there we go. Seriously, there's not that much length difference, so... yeah. I seem to recall being flummoxed by that before. <laughs> 
just being like, what? It's already in place. What? Because they're, they're overlapping and they look way too similar color-wise. And here we go. We got a key. It's a shield key. Which is only useful for one door. And that one door leads to the place where Richard got bit. Did I? Yeah, I did bring healing. Okay. Just in case. So I'm going to try something here. And I might not be able to do it, but I'm going to try it anyways. Because there's a fight here. Oh, fuck! That was fast? Holy crap. Yeah, that's a crimson head for you. More shotgun shells. Alrighty. So now we move forward. And oh god, it's a giant snake. Okay, so first off, I'm going to grab this mask, just because. Oh, don't bite me. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. aha. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. Never mind. And there we go. <laughs> it kind of clips through the uh, support there, but uh, yep. Yeah, so it didn't take too many shotgun shells. Like eight or nine. It's not too bad. And there we go. There's actually no reason to kill the snake here. Or kill the snake, but to fight it off. You can't actually let it leave, but... I felt like seeing if I could do it without getting bit, and I did. Hooray. Now I have to get past the Crimson Head. Which, thankfully, I don't have to do anything else here, so... Uh... What? Did he despawn? Well, I'm not going to find out. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not that curious. I will, though. Aha! Never mind. I was gonna go ahead and kill him, just to get those two herbs, but I'm not gonna do that. Alrighty! So... Oh, fuck's sake. Not gonna worry about it. Alrighty, so here we go. You know how I said something about uh not using that shortcut? Uh well I'm actually gonna use it. <laughs> uh because I didn't realize I'd be able to find all the old keys. I thought I was gonna miss at least one of them. So here's what we're going to do. Actually, let's save first. Hmm. 
Yeah, this might be a little bit of a, a quick stopping point. It's funny, because I was expecting to only do a little bit in one, seating, one sitting, but I'm actually making good progress. So, just one more, just one more little break, and then I'll take a full break. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> 